I want to t- touch on what you just said about them uh, being like corporate media. I want people to think about what that means, man, because going forward, like there's some takeaways from this shit we need to get. Um, sure. You know, what does being corporate media mean? Like, I think corporate media, people need to think about that. If TYT has become corporate media and and what does that mean to their content? How does that change the game? Well, in my opinion, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll let you go right after this because sure. and give you a chance to think about it. I sure. think it means people need to realize that their interest, the things that they say, the things that they report can be, they, they will construe it or, or modify their voice <laughs> in order to fit into, uh, in, into what <laughs> makes sense monetarily. Monetarily, their message will be modified to suit their business interests. I want people to realize it's not just when we say corporate media, that's really what we're, that's what I think. That's my definition of what really what it means. It's not just corporate because businesses are bad. It's not that businesses are bad. It's that people are effed up. And if you take your message and you you alter it in any way due to trying to submit to, to some type of corporate branding or corporate BS that's where the problem comes in when you won't talk about TPP because, uh, you know, sponsorship money. Or you won't mm-hmm. talk about, I don't care, like anything, Monsanto, Monsanto uh, anything that's in the food because, of, you know, corporate money. So that's my take on it. What do you think, for you, Harbaster, like corporate media, why do you detest it and what does that mean to you? I, I think <clears throat> the whatever you want to call them, the powers that be, they have, they are extremely skillful at giving people money. So it's not usually, sometimes it is, but it's not always going to be a corporation flat out giving money to MSNBC. So the way that you can, I think, at least in my observation, detect it is if you can just smell corporate media on really any outlet that's following narratives that are factually untrue, that you see consistently on CNN, <clears throat> MSNBC, and um, the biggest way now is the narratives, the Russia narrative. I would be completely on board with the Russia narrative if there was evidence for it, but there isn't. And um, I would say that's pretty much the way you can tell, and you should be careful like because you can see that, like you were pointing out, that were the people who are just waiting to sell out. And so you might have an independent outlet that kind of traffics in the, oh, yeah, well, maybe maybe there is something to this Russia thing. And I think that's where you can kind of start smelling <clears throat> the bullshit of of the corporate media narratives. Um, oh, and why I, I, I hate it, I think it's one of the most pressing dangers to the democracy. I don't want to be hyperbolic, but, but let me explain what I mean. Well, there's there's two factors here. Um, the first one is if you were to, regardless of what you think about Trump, if you were to impeach a sitting president over bullshit, over lies, that would dr- dr- dramatically change the fabric of the nation because the powers that be would know, OK, even if the people elect who they want, we can change it by just coming up with some bullshit using the CIA and the FBI to sign off on this bullshit. And um, that's I, I don't think regard, even if you hate Trump, I just think that that's not what you want to see. And then there's also another uh, issue. And I think that's why we're in such a bad situation now, because you have on the Democratic side, you have a factually provable uh, election in which one candidate was robbed. And it's just like, oh, OK, well, no problem. We're just going to do another election in 2020. <laughs> that has to be fixed. So, I mean, we're, we are in a really fucked up situation here. And that's why I, I hate it, because I, I, I feel like when you combine those things and like the attacks on free speech, that I do think whatever you want to call it, corporate media, the powers that be, they are attacking the fundamentals that the country is based on. And I, I have to take a stand against that. And at least if we look back <clears throat> and it's Orwell's 1984, I can at least say to myself, OK, well, I tried. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much where I'm at with this. 
Uh, man, I tried. That's that's it, brother.